Today, the FAA announced that all drones weighing over a half a pound and up to 55 pounds must be registered starting December 21st. Now, if you purchased a drone prior to that, you will have 60 days to register, but if you register before January 20th, the $5 registration fee will be refunded to you. So what does this mean for you if you bought a toy quadcopter as a gift for someone for the holidays or what have you? Honestly, not too much. I have here on the table an array of quadcopters. These are the larger ones that I own. Some of them are very popular. So you might own one or you may know someone who owns one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on the scale here and see what they weigh in at. So let's get started. So let's get the X5C on the scale, see where it weighs in. And right now it's weighing in at 113 grams, 114 grams, right in that area. We'll call it 113 and a half. Now, an one thing to remember on this is the prop guards are not attached. That's gonna increase the weight a little bit, but it's gonna still be under the 250 gram weight limit. I also have the non-stock camera attached to this. So that's something to keep in mind. It's the weight of the quad that it's actually flying in the air that has to be under 250 grams. So you can't say, take the battery out or take the camera off and put it on the scale and say, oh, it's under the 250 gram weight limit because it's whatever's flying in the air. So if you have a, a quad that is under the limit, but you're gonna attach, say, like a GoPro or a run cam to it, you're gonna wanna check the weight of it with the camera attached or whatever gear you're gonna be flying with it attached because that's gonna factor into the weight and it's gonna factor into whether you're legal or not. So let's move on to the V950 STR video streaming drone by Sky Viper and Skyrocket Toys. Now this is gonna weigh in at 126 grams, so well under the 250 gram weight limit. This is a pretty popular quadcopter. I've had a lot of people say that they were either getting this or buying this for someone for Christmas. So if you bought this one for somebody for Christmas, you're good, you don't have to worry about registering it with the FAA. So now let's move on to the V950 HD, also from Sky Viper and Skyrocket Toys. And this is gonna weigh in at 124 grams, so a little lighter than the V950 STR. This one you're also good as far as FAA registration. So now let's move on to the SJRC X300. Dash one. Now this one obviously has the prop guards on and it's weighing in at 119 grams. So well under, and these are fairly large quads, you know, but they're very light also. Basically most of the toy grade quadcopters you're gonna have are gonna be well under the 250 gram weight limit. So let's go to the JXD 509G. And this is gonna be 139 grams the heaviest quad I own, but also under the 250 gram weight limit. So that's about all I got for you on the FAA regulations. Basically, if you own a toy grade quadcopter, you're probably okay, but you're definitely gonna wanna make sure just in case, if you own say an FPV racing drone or a DJI Phantom or a unique Typhoon 4K or any of the larger camera quads, you're definitely gonna to wanna to register those. Those are gonna be over the weight limit and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in compliance with the new laws. Fines up to 27, 000, over $27,000 or $250,000 if there is some sort of criminal findings. So that's definitely, both of those are definitely steep price tags and you're not gonna to wanna to get nailed with those. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.